Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barry, and in this video we're going to be talking a lot about how to use the supplies that I showed you last time, and we're going to be doing some shading techniques. We're going to be doing what's called stippling and cross-hatching and hatching uh, to make shadows on our drawing. So you're going to need the supplies that you're seeing on the video right now. You're going to need a pencil, and you can use if you have an HB, you can use an HB, which is really nice to have. It's basically the same thing as a number two, so if you have one of these regular pencils, that's okay too. And you're probably going to need an eraser of some kind. This is just a regular, they're called Magic Rub Erasers. Um, and this one is a lot of fun to use. This one is a kneaded eraser. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before or not. But after you use it, you take it and pull it, and that cleans it all up. But it's a lot of fun just to kind of, if anything, just to stand here and kind of pull on it to clean it all out. So I'm going to put this over here to the side, and I'm going to show you this imaginary world that I created last summer. Um, and I used a lot of the techniques that we're going to be talking about today. So first of all, this is Faberwelt. And Faberwelt is an, another planet, and it's got some craters and some interesting things, uh, creatures that live underneath the ground. Um, so if you'll notice on Fiber Welt, on the buildings, I use these lines coming across. That is called hatching. I use that probably more than anything to create the shadows. Up here on the top, you'll notice some dots. Um, that Those dots are called stippling. Now, if we go in farther into this little book thing that I've created here, you'll notice down here at the bottom... Actually, it's not on this page. It's on the next page, I believe. Yeah, down here at the bottom, I created some areas where the lines cross over. That's called cross-hatching. But you'll notice on everything, anywhere that there is a shadow, I would use those, those lines, and those are hatch lines. And I would think about where the sun was coming, or that light source. And obviously, it's coming from this side. So let's go ahead and get started. On my piece of paper, I've taken my pencil and I've drawn three diamonds. You notice these three and their points are pointed up this way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw some lines from the bottom three corners. One, two, three, and then two. Three. Well, this one kind of overlaps a little bit. I'm still going to draw it in there anyway. One, two, three. And so we've got these three buildings that are kind of sticking up out of the ground. Down here on the bottom, I'm going to put in a couple slanted lines like this. Okay. So those are our three buildings. Now the sun is shining from this direction. So since the sun is shining from this direction, that means on this side of those buildings, we're going to have some shadows. All right, our first shadow is going to be on this side of the building, and we're going to be using the hatching. So we're going to start out drawing little lines like this, diagonal, close together, and then they slowly get a little bit farther apart like that. So this one is hatching. Write that up here for you. Now on this one we're going to do what's called cross hatching. I'm going to do the same thing. Lines coming this direction. A little bit farther apart as I go down. And then I'm going to have fun because I'm going to go the opposite direction, like this. Now, in order to make that darker, I can come in and make those lines a little bit closer together. I got outside my line a little bit there, so don't worry about that. I can take my eraser and get rid of that. All right now, over here in the corner, even closer together. All 
And there we go. And you'll notice I've got my nice dark shadow right there with my crosshatching. Now, so this is crosshatching. And then the last one is stippling. Now for stippling, it works best with a marker. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with that, but you can do this with a pencil too. For stippling, basically you're taking your marker or your pencil and you're making dots like this. Now the dots are very, very close together. I'm going to leave a little bit of white showing. And again, you're trying to make a shadow. So we've got this side being darker, and then as I come out, they're going to get farther and farther apart with a little bit of white. Now when you're doing your shadows, again, you want one side to be lighter and the other side to be a little bit darker where they're closer. It won't be a pattern where they all look about the same. Okay, so there it is with the marker. And again, you do the same thing with pencil if that's what you want to do as well. All right, so those are three different techniques. And I can come in here now and I can add maybe add some circles, some ovals, just for fun. And on this side, I'm going to add another, another line on that one side, because that's where I want the shadow to show from. Hatching. Cross hatching. And let me switch. Stippling. Alright. Now you can also shade like this where you're just filling in something to make a shadow. Okay, similar to that. All right. Well, that's it for today. So next time, uh, on our next video, we are going to be actually working with what's known as perspective, how we can make things look farther away. We did a little bit of that when we were drawing the tops here, uh, doing some different things, but we're going to go even more. Uh, I'm going to show you how to draw a city street with some doors and windows um, and a, a, a road going down the middle and some different things. And then we're going to use our techniques we learned, our hatching, our cross hatching, our stippling, and then just filling in. Uh, we'll be using those as we uh, finish this up.